the season finale, Mr. Gold was twisting his cane, and maybe that swing was going to fall yeah. on Phil Henry. Um, do you think he would have, uh, if he had not been interrupted, would have been well, I think he'd have killed him without a doubt. I think that, that's what he was going to do. I don't think there's any, any doubt about that. Because he's so, such a conflicted man, you know, that he can, he can, he can swing wildly between, you know, good and evil. I think the, the problem for him is that is Bell. Bell's, Bell is, is Rumpelstiltskin's emotional centre. That's what keeps him, keeps his head on the side of good. The, the closer he is to Bell, the better he is. The further he gets away, the more danger it is for everyone. And uh, at that point, she was she was no longer Bell, she was Lacey, you know. And of course, she comes back, you know, halfway through the episode, I think. But at that point, you know, there was nothing to keep him, nothing to keep him uh, rooted. At that point, he was like a, a firework going off, you know, and he, he was ready, he was ready to, 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 to do some bad stuff. And now he's left her to go on yeah. his mission. Was he going to keep it together on that set? Well, that's an interesting question because it, it, he does need her. And what, what I can say without giving the game away entirely is that they will meet again and they will meet in Netherlands. But maybe not in the way that we think in typical Once Upon a Time style. Uh, it's certainly not the way that you think. But they will meet. Um, what else can you talk about? You've had a lot of, sorry, <laughs> you've had a lot of like uh, really heart wrenching scenes um, this season. Yeah. So, um, what would you say is like was the most intense for you? Uh, yeah, Manhattan episode. I think it was episode sixteen. That was uh, that was very very draining in, in a way. There was an awful lot of tears and stuff there. It's also difficult to play with the, the thing that had been in his chest. So I had to kind of balance that as well. That he was kind of dying halfway through the episode, but at the same time trying to kind of reach out to, particularly the phone call that he had with Bell. That was a uh, very kind of heart heart rendering. Kind of thing. Um, I, was, I mean, it was enjoyable and a kind of, you know, masochistic kind of. Way. <laughs> now that gold is returning to a fairy tale land in Neverland, is he going to keep his gold guitar, or is he going to? Good, good question. Uh, he, um, what you're going to see in, in episode three is a, is a different character. That is, I mean, you know, with myself particularly, I never ever just played two parts. There was always maybe about five or six different, you know, Rumpelstiltskin go different ways that I was going with the character. This is yet another one. Uh, he's he's in a different place now, uh, and in a very kind of, you know, almost like a suicide mission for him now. And he has to try and find this boy in some way to honour the death of his own son. And whoever he takes out along the way is, is fair game. So this 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 dark one is is very dark. What do you love about the character? I love just what I said. I love the fact that I do have five or six different roles to play within the one, one or two. Um, it keeps me on my toes, and the guys are continually write fantastic stuff for me to play. So I'm a happy camper. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Of course you can. Very quick. Very quick. You wanted to go? Forever, so. Oh, that's really kind of you to say so.